Is your house currently for sale and you're receiving nothing but lowball offers? Or maybe you're thinking about buying and you've put lowball offers in. For the next couple of minutes, I want to discuss lowball offers and how you can put a deal together even though you're not seeing eye to eye to begin with. Lowball offers are very common when it's a buyer's market like PEI. Since there's so many homes for sale and so much product out there, buyers naturally think that a lowball offer is going to fly. One of the things I suggest if you are writing an offer that's a lowball offer, or one that's substantially lower than asking price, is have a letter explaining where that lowball offer came from and, if need be, comparative sales. Your real estate agent can supply those. If you're the owner of a house and you're receiving lowball offers, do not take it personally. It's just the market. The important thing is that you counter offer, you never reject an offer, and you keep the line of communication open and you ask questions such as where did this lowball offer come from? What was the purchaser thinking? Do they have comparative sales data? Keep the line of communication open. Maybe at the end of the day you'll be able to do a deal and you'll be a lot closer if you understand where the potential purchaser is coming from. I'm Michael Posnick with Century 21 Northumberland. We're giving away an iPad this year. Go to iPad.michaelshomes.com. The link will be in the description.